Hello. <laughs> Welcome. We're here at the radio station. Yes, we just went on air and introduced the show. So we're doing the laws of attraction. Specifically, though, we're speaking on money. So um, we have to play music in between. So the party, uh, get the party started with pink is on right now. Yay, we're infusing some positive energy. Um, and we're in Boulder Creek, um, close to Santa Cruz in California. Melissa, what's your uh, YouTube channel? Center for Balance. Center for Balance. And she goes by, what's your name? The Groovy Goddess. The Groovy Goddess. I love it. <laughs> so we actually have some cards for um, the laws of attraction that <laughs> we pulled. And um, we're kind of just going with the flow yeah, <laughs> of the energy. Boulder Creek, tell me something good. That's from Shaka Khan. You know, I love that song. And I love the whole meaning of tell me something good. Because that's one of my little segments of the Divine Brew. And welcome today. Happy Wednesday. You're listening to KBCZ 90.1 FM Boulder Creek Community Radio. And this is the Divine Groove. I'm your host, Melissa Sanangelo. And I'm here with a guest today, Sylvia. Oop. Sorry about that. Hello. <laughs> I'm here with Sylvia today. And um, we are going to talk about law of attraction, healing your um, relationship with money. But first, I have to go through um, my tell me something good stories for this week. So I had a neighbor tell me that she was at a store and somebody was trying to get some cash from her and she told the lady, I, I don't feel comfortable giving you cash, but I have no problem buying you lunch. And the, the person refused, said I already ate, but then found her again in the store and said, could you buy me some string cheese? And so she bought this lady a big pack of string cheese and she was telling me about that. And I thought, you know, that's, that's what we need to do. We just need to feed other people, people that are hungry and help people out when it, wherever you can, whatever, whatever feels good to you, do it. And In all ways. Exactly. Giving will help you receive. And then I got a message from the, um, Quail Creek 4-H Club. They go out to the Elder Day in Santa Cruz. It's an Elder Day Care and they bring um, animals. They brought a lamb and some chickens and a rabbit so that the elders can pet the animals and it was very heartwarming and they do that, that good thing in our community. So we want to give them kudos. Um, the other thing I wanted to bring up is I was here at the station on Saturday when Space Boy had his first program and I wanted to say congratulations because when I left I listened and the show was fun and so listen to Space Boy on Saturdays. He's got a great show. I believe he's from 10 to 12 or something like that. The other thing that I wanted to bring up that I found on Facebook was a page called the Happiness Heroes and they caught my eye because they had a little video about mr rogers we all remember mr rogers right <laughs> sesame street mr rogers. a long time ago yeah yeah so so mr rogers um he he saved public television did you know that he saved public television by going to you know a government meeting and um he talked for seven minutes and he got the funding that he needed and it's a pretty heartwarming it kind of brought a tear to my eyes it was very heartwarming so if you have a chance go on Facebook and look up the happiness heroes that's a pretty awesome page so keep up the good work everyone in the community doing good things and let me know about it send it to my Facebook page Melissa Sanangelo you can find me on the web the groovy goddess um, and send me those good stories so that I can keep giving Boulder Creek and the community the kudos that it deserves. All right, so we are here. We are gonna talk about law of attraction and we also have a surprise guest coming. 
I'm here with Sylvia, who I met on YouTube. She has a YouTube channel. Go ahead and tell us your YouTube channel. Uh, it's the Enchanted World of Twin Flame. <laughs> yeah. So she, she does tarot readings for twin flames, people that feel like they're in twin frame flame relationships. And so she caught my eye and I um, asked her to come out here. And so she came out here yesterday. So I do a lot, of, <laughs> a lot of body, mind, soul type of. Yeah. So I asked her to come out and talk about law of attraction with us today. And I'm gonna start off by reading a card. I have these law of attraction cards and I pulled one to yeah. just kind of start <laughs> off the show. And when it, it says, the card says, whenever I'm feeling bad, I'm attracting that which is unwanted. Whenever you feel bad, you're in the process of attracting something that will not please you. Without exception, the reason for the negative emotion is that you are focused upon something you do not want or upon the lack or absence of something that you do not want. Whenever you feel a negative emotion, you could say to yourself, I'm feeling a negative emotion, which means I'm in the process of attracting something that I do not want. What is it that I do want? And then make that choice to change your thought. Yeah. So that is the law of attraction, is simply responding to your thought, real or imagined. Right, yeah. exactly. So that's what we're gonna kind of talk about today and hopefully it helps somebody out there. And um, we're gonna do that when we come back from this money song. Sorry, you guys. Oh, why is mine tracks? I'm having the worst, um, technical difficulty day but it's okay you guys we'll get this down because the full moon oh because the full moon oh that's yeah of such course. A good, that's such a good <laughs> thought all right so surprise guest walked in just now we have emilia who's here hello emilia owns air and fire in boulder creek i'm sure you all are aware who she is and um, I asked her to come in and just join the conversation and talk to us and support Boulder Creek. And so she came in just now and we sat her down. She's here. <laughs> Happy to be here. Thanks, Melissa. Yeah, so we were like talking about how to change our thoughts, yeah. you know, and changing your thoughts. I read this card before you walked in and it talked about when you feel a negative emotion, you're actually attracting to you what you don't want. So to recognize that and then turn that around. I, that's definitely a good idea. <laughs> um, you know, one of the things that first got me, caught my attention about the law of attraction, I picked up from Serge Kahili King's book from Urban Shamanism. And it is energy flows where attention goes. Mm -hmm. And that was something that really stuck with me over the years. This was in the early 90s when I first became aware of that. And I just think it's really, really powerful. So what that is saying is that if we're putting our thoughts towards the things that we want, we are feeding that. We are, you know, if we can visualize it, if we can see it, we will be creating more of that. And, you know, that's the other thing is if we spend our time worrying about things, um, we're actually feeding that and giving that more energy. Well, definitely if you put emotions behind it, right? When you put anger or even excitement, I know when I put excitement behind an idea, it just expands it, pushes it out. So when you have emotion, negative emotions and you're focusing on that, you're just pushing it out. You're asking it to come to you. Certainly, I think that working it on different levels, on the emotional, on the physical, and the spiritual level, are ways for things to be more effective. Right, right. And, and then I also wanted to bring up um, today was healing your relationship with money because I started off my career in my 20s in banking, and so I, I dealt with cash a lot. You know, I handled cash for many, many years. And um, and then I got out of handling cash and I went into management. And then I left management and became a healer. And then in 2010, when we all went through financial crisis, in 2010 when everybody, you know, the financial stability of the government, everything was falling apart and crashing around us. 
I went out and got another job because my um, business wasn't prospering because people felt like they couldn't spend money on massage and things like that. So I went out and got a job where I was cash handling again. And as a person that feels energy and is sensitive and then handling the cash, I realized that the cash actually has energy. Money has energy. And people don't realize that. And so you can't attract it because it's energy. It's pa passing through your hands. You can use that energy to bring more money to yourself. And I just like to try to explain that to people. One, because their thoughts, they're, blo they're, they're blocking their thoughts by saying they're broke, by saying I don't have this, I, the, feeling the lack of having money, or, or either thinking that having money is no good for them, money's evil, because that's where I was at. I thought money was evil, that rich people, people that had money, there was, they were snobby, there was, you know, they were an ego, they were, you know, and that's why they had money. And so I had to heal a lot of that, but it, it, my healing came from then holding that cash and realizing that it does have energy. So that's what I really wanted to put out into our community because I hear a lot of people. And that's part of um, transforming your beliefs and right. your thoughts around right. money and then allowing and allowing the flow right of money to come to you exactly and your belief system around it yeah do you have any thoughts on that emily yet? i i fully agree that's transforming how it is that you think about it what it is that you are saying it saying about it um transforming the message that you're sending out to the universe right and one suggestion i have for doing that is creating a money altar okay so, um, so talk I, about a little bit about that mm -hmm. okay so, um, <laughs> I had one for I don't even know how long, several years. Um, so I have um, a dollar, a bill of each of the denominations from one to a hundred, okay. and all the coins up there. We also have um, from other countries. I will have that because pos prosperity comes in many forms. Right. And then there I have other crystals that are surrounding it to also that are pointed inward, directing the energy in. Okay. Um, also working with a lodestone, which is like a magnetic stone to help to attract. And then feeding it with magnetic sand is um, one way to like work with the money altar of um, uh, goddesses such as like Fortuna or Fernunos, which is a god. Um, I like Lakshmi. Lux, 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 and Lakshmi, of course. Yes. She's my <laughs> favorite. Wonderful prosperity um, <laughs> beings that help to symbolize that, kind of looking at their image and um, kind of reminding us all that, um, you know, that we can tap into prosperity, that we can create our own reality with the things that we do here and now. We're not set or destined, is what I believe, not to any, to a particular future, that the power is in our hands and that we can change it. So if there's something that's not working for you, change it. Exactly. It. Change the polarity yeah. so that it can um, start to serve you. And one of the easiest ways to doing that is changing your thoughts around it, which in turn changes your feelings, and it changes the the energy that the universe is echoing back at you. Oh, that's right. So what you seek is also seeking you. I love that quote. Yeah, that's great. It's the flow, the ebb and the flow. Yeah, and you guys are all listening to KBCZ 90.1 FM, Boulder Creek Community Radio, here on the Divine Group. We're talking about law of attraction, healing your relationship with money, and we'll be back after this money song from Paul McCartney. And would you please give me money? Okay. I think you can do this Pink Floyd's money. I couldn't because it says bullshit. Oh, which one? Can't believe it. I, I was. Yeah. Can you see if I was trying to play foul with all the things that are happening today? I know. Yeah. So I had. I tried, and, and now all my songs are gone because we have to. Okay. So we we're gonna have more time to talk because I because because I lost all my money songs. It, it played halfway, and then somehow it disappeared, and then it went to my other song.
<laughs> and then I was talking, going, I screwed up. <laughs> the mic's wrong. Well, I'm glad you came because I have a spiritual channel, but she's like, we can't do any of the foo foo stuff. <laughs> and so I'm like, what the can station, I say? The I'm station so... has a license and they cannot talk about religion. So the spirituality is like threading in a line, you know? Oh, so did I, me saying God was oh, right. I into that? I don't know. I think that she's on the phone. Soul, you know? Yeah. yeah. And they just told me to be careful, so I'm trying to be careful. Okay, I didn't get that warning. <laughs> I know, I didn't talk Good, to because you opened the door. Yeah, yeah. Good. Because, but I think a lot of what I'm, I want to say, I, <laughs> I'm a little um, shut down from <laughs> what I normally talk about. Is that how cool you have a crystal store? Yeah, we're gonna. I'm gonna take her down there. We're gonna walk down there. I love So you'll see us again. You want me to stay for be here for more? Yeah. Okay. So it's it's 11:30. We have to at, at about 10 minutes till I have to play music that'll go through for the next person. So we have about 20 more minutes. This is fun. We're talking about some of my favorite subjects. I do this all day long. I know. Exactly. <laughs> I just wish I didn't have to do this. Oh. But it's okay. Lost your sound. Did you need help thinking of new ones or? or no, I'm. Yeah, I can't even. I, I'm. I'm. Uh, have this, and then I have "Can't Buy Me Love," and then I have "Good Vibrations," and get the funk out of my face. <laughs> All you need is love. Yeah. I don't know if I can. I think I did play. I played that one. That's the first one that that got that got cut off. Really? Yeah. Well, I tuned in and I was listening. I left when you put put on a, a yeah. song that I it, yeah it cut off when you probably when you were walking no. here. But sorry. it's okay. Good. No. No full moon this month. The month of February. So. All right, we are back with Emilia from Air and Fire and Sylvia from YouTube. Hello. Hello. <laughs> she doesn't work for YouTube. She has a YouTube channel. <laughs> All right. So we were talking about thoughts, changing your thoughts, law of attraction, healing your your relationship with money things like that so look at you guys I'm creating your reality being a co-creator of your reality yeah I think that's a big one I think a lot of people they feel like creating their reality is going to work every day and collecting that paycheck and that's kind of like what their reality is and I, I don't believe that oh, okay. I remember hearing one one speaker say about think of life as writing a book like what is your book what is your story yeah you are the totally. author of your own story what how what's the next page what happens next right. so that just puts the power back into our hands to realize that we have the ability to affect change and to affect our future we're not doomed to some specific foretold thing even though things may be um, we may find out things that may be leading us in a certain direction but I also believe that we can do things to transform it or to change it if it looks like we're going down a certain path yeah definitely like the path of being broke <laughs> you should change your reality <laughs> <laughs> or, or like the path of a home foreclosure, yeah, or something. End you know, of a relationship, things like that. Th you know, health problems, things like that, are triggers for you to look at what you're doing and what your thoughts are, because your reality is 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 be becoming very negative, right? Um, indeed, yeah. I'm also a. I also have been doing readings and spiritual consultations for over a dozen years and that's one of my disclaimers when people are looking into the future is that I don't believe it's set in stone. Yeah, you, you can see, change it, yes. Yeah, you see something you like, that doesn't mean, you know, 
don't continue the work that you're doing. It means continue and this is the most like, this is the outcome that looks like will be showing up for you. Right. If there's something you don't like, well, what can we do to, to transform it? What can be done to shift it? And that's where the focus is, putting the power back within, getting the power back to us. Right. Right. And a good way to see that too is energy. Everything is energy. So a lot of it has to do with bringing up your own vibration, your own frequency in thoughts. The universe is talking to us too. <laughs> thoughts and emotions. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's. What what other cards do you have out there? Do and you want so to read? That, you want to read one? The um, the laws of attraction. Which one? Is? All right. The law of attraction is responding to your thought, not to your current reality. When you change the thought, your reality must follow suit. If things are going well for you, then focus upon what is happening now will cause the well-being to continue. But if there are things happening now that are not pleasing you, you must find a way of taking your attention away from those unwanted things. You have the ability to quickly change your patterns of thought and eventually your life experience. Interesting. Sounds like what I just said. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what? When you, when you read that, though, and you said when things are going well, do you ever hear people say, oh, things are going so well that I'm just waiting for the other shoe to drop or I'm just waiting for something bad to happen? And I feel like... A lot of people think that when things are going well, they they stop their flow by going, well, this can't be good, or it's too good to be true. I have to, you know, I something bad is going to come now because it can't just stay good forever, right? Yeah. You know, and and that's not a good thought to have. Your your thoughts should be, wow, everything's going well, and I'm going to continue to to stay on this path and. Yes, well, I think that's good. Monitoring your thoughts and ways that we might be sabotaging ourselves, mm -hmm. becoming more aware of that, that we can um, we can change it. So what I'd like to do is kind of counter it with a different thought. So when you realize that you're um, thinking about things that you don't want or focusing on it, um, to transform it so that uh, towards things that you do want and exactly. encounter it so that we can create new patterns because that's kind of what it is when we find that we're in patterns and in cycles that are kind of repeating um we can get stuck stuck exactly and that's when i when i realized that i was stuck i i created a delete button right and so mm -hmm. if if i if i hear hear a thought or i, I think a thought i hit that delete button and then it deletes it and I create a new thought. And that's kind of how I started training myself. So. That's awesome. So just, you know, picture a big stop, button. <laughs> you know, stop sign, stop button, whatever it is to get yourself out of that negative thought. You want to read another topic? Let's see. From your place of of lack, you attract more lack, and that is why most diets do not work. You are aware of your fat, and so then you say, I am gonna get rid of all of this stuff that I do not want, and yet your attention is given to the stuff that you do not want, and so you hold on to it. So this is, I'm glad I picked this card, because I know a lot of people have this issue. The way to get to where you want to be is to give your full attention to what you do not, to what you do want, to not give your attention to what you do not want. My attraction to lack of attracts more lack of to me. So yeah, you know, that's I tell people tr tr don't talk about diets. Talk about you know I'm going to change my lifestyle to a healthier eating. You know a healthy healthy eating and not a diet because diet tells you that you yeah that you're just overweight you're not you know it's a lifestyle change you're changing your lifestyle you want to become healthier and not focus on losing the weight or having a bad body image that's good yeah you building know? up health yeah building up health with everything health with your 
physical, mental, emotional, your financial, your relationships, just always looking at, I just want to better my health instead of putting, um, you know, a, a, a negative label, things like that. What are some of the things that you guys use to get yourself out of being stuck? Well, I think that waking up in the morning and setting the intentions for the day and yeah, um, um, working it from there is helpful. It kind of, it sets the tone mm -hmm. and throughout the day you can have gentle reminders that bring you back to what it is that you want to be focusing on and what it is that will actually be serving you and bringing you more of the things that will be filling yourself as well as the world with happiness because it's contagious yeah <laughs> it yeah definitely it's, is. A, it's about feeding your soul positivity and it's it's all about balance at the end and especially emotional balance yeah yeah emotions i think are a big big thing with people right because mm -hmm they get so emotional about the news and they bring that on and then it affects their life and they get emotional about their friend who's going through something and they bring that into their existence and then it just starts to create this negative spin cycle, anxiety. And definitely, especially for those who are very sensitive to other people's energies or um, right. to, to things around them. Right. When I first started uh, my healing path, I was teaching yoga at a, at a drug rehab. And I used to tell them all the time, you know, people that become addicted to things, they are sensitive people, people empaths, right? And they just don't know how to deal with all the information that's coming to them. And so then they turn in, it into an addiction. And they're very creative people and maybe their creativeness is blocked because of all of that so they just don't know what to do with it and i would tell people that and they would be like oh and then of course they would say well what is an empath what does that mean and i would say well do you cry during commercials do you watch that hallmark commercial and it just puts you in tears that you're empathic to what that commercial is saying you're picking up on that energy so you're empathic and you pick up on people's stuff and then you just take it on and put your story to it and and create you just create your life from there and that's what created your addiction and they were always just like wow that's amazing that's you know and i and i think people don't realize that a lot of us are very sensitive very empathic and it's not taught right not always. <laughs> I learned to teach it. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, yeah, I think that one of one of the things that I um, like to do with that is to focus on the aura and strengthening up. That's our aura, our personal force field, and um, so that we can be aware of what what is going on around us. However, the difference is how it affects us. And so there are certain tools and things that we can charge up or utilize to help to remind us or keep us in the space. Just did one this morning uh, for a, a black tourmaline is a stone that I often <laughs> use that for protection to, to help to, um, you know, it's, it's just a tool realizing that we are the main source of it but something to employ to help to anchor in the energy so that way um, the energy of empowerment of, of our, own, uh, our own energy, our field. Yeah, black tourmaline. Now, doesn't black tourmaline take the energy and t it takes the negative energy and turns it into positive? Neutralizes. Right? Yeah, doesn't it do something like that? Well, I see it as um, a, a strong protection stone, mm -hmm. and um, it, it's good for grounding mm -hmm. to help to keep us like firmly planted on the earth mm -hmm. and protected. Like mm -hmm. I see it as strengthening up mm -hmm. our own force field and how it works well in conjunction with other other stones, other methods. But I just find it as a good, um, yeah, a good booster of our own energy. It does help to transmute negative energy. Yeah, so I'm, I'm a big fan of in your personal space, 
always have things in your personal space that remind you to have a positive life. And I think that's a big thing, you know? Have a clear, you know, clean, clean out your closets, keep your space clear, have crystals around and things like that, or just things that you love, trinkets that you love. Or life plants. Life I plants. That at your place. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I love that peace plant. That's my favorite plant with the beautiful white flower. You know what I'm talking about? The peace plant. Is that a lily? I think it is kind of a lily, but um, yeah, it has this beautiful white flower that comes up, but it's not it's not the lily like you're thinking. Okay, not, I was envisioning a calla lily. Yeah, no, it's not a calla lily. It's, um, it's, it's called the peace plant, but it's got this beautiful green, <laughs> We've got some crickets in here. <laughs> it's a beautiful green leaf <laughs> with a white flower. <laughs> and I have them all over my space oh, because, I, because I love peace. You know, I, I like I like peaceful. I like my space to be peaceful. And balance. And balance is a big thing for me. Yes. Tranquil. <laughs> Anyone too. that knows me knows that I'm into balance. <laughs> That's a good thing to be into. <laughs> It is a balance. Life is just a balance. Every day is a balance. How are you going to balance your day? You know? So, let's see. We've got a couple minutes left that we can talk about Law of Attraction. What else do you guys want to give out to the community? Any, um, do you know of any, do you have any events coming up that would be helpful, Emily? doesn't well, have to be about Law of Attraction. It can be about crystals or anything like that. Um, let me just no. think on here. I know, um, well, the spring equinox is coming up. Um, some of us would call that Ostara, and it happens right around March 21st, I okay. believe. And that's about renewal and abundance and growth. And there will Perfect be, timing. There will be a lot of different... Um, let's just say spring festivities going on um, around throughout the community. And, and you, you, when you came in, you said there was a full moon. So that We're almost on a full moon. And this being the last day of February, this is a moonless month. I mean, a full moonless month. Right, right. Interesting. So is that on is, the first? It's, it's tomorrow, the, right? It's Thursday? I think it's Thursday. Uh -huh. I think so. I think yeah. so. Mm -hmm. On the first tomorrow. So, oh, and somebody else told me once, this, this is a fun little thing, that on the first, when you wake up on the first day of the month, before you say anything, you should say, white rabbit, white rabbit, white rabbit. Have you heard of that? No. You've never heard of that? I have not. My, my old boss told me this one time. And, she's, and so sometimes I remember and sometimes I don't. And then she told me that her grandmother told her that the night of the, you know, the last day of the month to put her purse out side so that the moon could fill her purse with abundance. I like that. <laughs> I know, isn't I, that neat? Yeah. So maybe since tomorrow's a full moon, you should put your crystals out tonight and put your purse out mm -hmm. and um, and let the moon just bring in prosperity. Well, it's putting your intention into that too. Right. And your focus. So. Right. And yeah. then wake up tomorrow and say, white rabbit, white rabbit, right? <laughs> See, and it's, it's a tongue twister. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> I think, you know, focusing on gratitude. Gratitude, Focus on definitely. the things that you are grateful for in your life, the things that bring you joy, the things that emit the energies of love, of joy, of happiness. Creating those feelings will be creating more of that into your life. I right. believe that helps to attract it. That's the energy. That's energy flowing where your attention is. Right. Gratitude. And I think a lot of people, because I hear a lot of class, when I go to classes and hear blogs and things like that, people talk about at the end of the day, do your gratitude list. I think you should do it in the beginning of the day. Start your day off with some gratitude. Mm -hmm. I'm grateful that you guys came by today. <laughs> Thank you. I'm grateful to be here. Thank you for inviting me. This is so much fun. Yeah. So, what else do we want to give to the community? Um, maybe a suggestion for like creating a gratitude list, even maybe even writing it down and helping us to recognize that, focus on that, and letting us feel the feelings of what it is like to be feeling those things. 
and you know if we're working to manifest something thinking about it as you already as if you already have it letting those feelings come up that's another message to the universe to help to bring it into solid form if you can imagine it if you can feel it you can manifest it right that's that's yeah it's a clear intention of what you want that you're putting out yes and you may not know all the steps that it takes to get there so some of those things are left up to the universe mm -hmm. um, but it's definitely good to have goals if it's if there are, if it's a long-term plan that you're looking to manifest or create, but you know we, we can't imagine every possible no scenario, way. and and you don't want to, right? Because you want to leave, you want to have some elements of surprise to your life, right? Yeah, yes. <laughs> it's an experience. We're just here to experience all that we can experience, um, right? That's all it is. It's school and an experience. School of life. The yes. school of life. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Um, yeah, so what are some other suggestions to creating abundance? I guess maybe surrounding yourself with like energies or with people or the yeah. things that help to feed you, that build you up, to bring you positive things. Doing the things that you that you like and that bring you joy, whether that's sports going for a walk in the forest, surfing. Well, and that's know. like the divine groove. This is something that I wanted to do for a long time and it showed up and here I am. And it's, you know, it's just something that I just do for the community because I love it, you know? Thank you. Because I want to bring, bring this type of information to the world, you know? So yeah. yeah. Put your mind to work for you. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So let's see. We'll read one more. And you guys, I want to remind you guys if to send me your good news stories. You can send them to my Facebook page, Melissa Sinangelo, and we will read them on air. Babies are thinking when they are born. That's the card that I'm pulling. People often incorrectly assume that since a baby cannot speak, that it cannot be creating its own reality. But that is not the case. Even those who have language are not creating through words, but through thoughts. Your babies are thinking when they are born, and before they are born, they are vibrationally aware. Your vibrational frequencies are immediately affected by the vibrations that surround them in their birth environment. But there is no need to worry about them, for they are like you. We're born with the emotional guidance system. And that's to be connected to your emotional body. That's kind of what you were talking yeah. about. Yeah. And I just want to remind you about your story that you wanted to share. Yeah. Your healing um, with healing relationships with money you have a story yeah the, um, and that was that when I when I um, started doing the cash handling and I was and I realized that there was energy behind the money I started to I, I also do Reiki so I started to do Reiki on the money I was counting about a hundred thousand dollars a day in cash and so I was doing Reiki on the money. My employees were like, you are crazy. And I'm like, okay, yeah, whatever. We're in a, we're in a financial crisis in the world. And but you have a quote. That, oh, the yes. quote. So the quote from Jimi Hendrix is, um, when, the, when, the love of, when, the love, when the power of love overcomes the love of money, the world will know peace. Yes, that, yes that's my favorite quote. I have it hanging in my studio. Yeah. And um, yeah, so, I tell people that are cashiers, you know, cashiers are usually people that are struggling, you know, they don't make a big salary. And so I try to, I just told this to somebody that was working at New Leaf and she was like, thank you. And I said to her, cat, you're holding cash all day long. Take that money and take that energy, you know, take the energy from the money, cleanse it and send it off and put it back in your drawer and send it off and you'll be attracting more money to yourself. And so what I do every day is I get out the money out of my wallet and I straighten it out and I 
and I and I think about I want to triple this money I want to you know quadruple it or whatever um, and I and I straighten it all out and I put it all back and it's like a thing I do in the every morning I look at my bank accounts and see what I have and I visualize bringing more in and so all of those types of things are things that you can incorporate um, to bring money in understanding that it's an energy exchange yeah definitely yes. so we're coming to the end of our show I'm so sorry to see us go but <laughs> thank you for coming in um, come down and see Emily at Erin fire she'll talk to you some more about crystals I'm sure oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Sylvia I'll put um, on my on my YouTube channel I'll put this this video up and I'll put Sylvia's information but she's the enchanted world of twin yeah so you can check her out she's um she's a fun tarot reader to watch <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Melissa San Angelo and I've been your host and we are going to go off with um, can't buy me love by Ella Fitzgerald namaste namaste yeah. I'm glad you said that. <laughs> I wanted to say namaste, but I wasn't sure if that was okay. okay. Thank you. I'm excited to go over to your place. I love, love, love crystals. And I love that one that you have, that you're wearing. Oh, yeah. Lavenderite. Yeah. I love lavenderite. That's one of my favorites. Wow. Oh, did that somebody make that for you? Um, no. no? Um, it's something I have a couple of these in the shop. Oh. So of uh, different ones. Yes, some tigers I am more labradorite, but a lot it's ones that I can select that uh, have um, and recently asked, I went to Italy and I got this made. It's um, oh, that's pretty. Yeah, as an artist. This is